Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your boy Casey here. So, first up, I'm gonna talk about the Play Out Sky variant Thor against the Hot Toys Thor, which is Thor 1 from the Avengers. First up, I'll go with the Play Out Sky variant. Lovely artwork on the front. Up close, it gives you a little biography about uh, the character, it gives you a little story. This is the display case, sort of box. If you want, you can also display it like this, which most of us wouldn't do it. It's a pretty good figure. I would give 8 on 10 for the boxing of how the figure is. As you can see, it is packed up with uh, plastic. It has stands, the clamps and everything to hold the figure. This is uh, just a description of how each and every set is. Pieces of the hand and the pieces of the face. Also the accessories and how to put them. All like with little instructions, a little manual. This is how to put up the stand. And uh, one thing I would really want to say is for the Play Arts Sky stands, it is it is a good stand, but the thing is it is not... Really sucks. <laughs> it doesn't hold the figure quite well, that's to put it in a good way. Yeah, I mean, I love the figure, I love how it is, but the stands are really pathetic, to be, to be blunt. Anyways, let's move on. Start off with, I would go with the signature of Thor, which is the Mjolnir. This version of Mjolnir is quite good, I would say. It is, I believe, the ABS material. So it's a little bulky. Instead of using PVC, I think PVC has been used in, uh, at, this, in at the middle part of this, this, this holding thing. As you can see, clearly, when I hold the figure, this is how it looks. So, yeah, it's... Overall, the design and the quality, I would say it's quite quite decent. Uh, there's a, a little red here with a little golden markings and with the silver shading here, silver and black. Well, it's quite a different take what the Play Art Sky has taken with this Thor figure and with this Mjolnir. So, thumbs up for that. Just to add on more. Also comes with this effect of Mjolnir. I think you can just pull this off. Give me a moment. I don't know how to pull this off. <laughs> no, no, no! No, man, let's move on. This is the effect. I don't want to waste time here. This is the effect. We just pull all of this thing off and just put this in. That's it. Ah, well, now comes the big boy. The most powerful Avenger, as they say. Check this out. Everybody tries to show their figure up front, but I would like to show from the back. Look at his cape. Does thy mother know it that thy wearing the cape? Does mother know? And here's the upfront look of Thor. The color, the shading is quite decent. I like the dark green with a little purple at the side. A little bluish. His hair, I mean, it's decent. The head sculpt, although the head, the face, I would say, it, it looks like a little, I don't know, it looks like a little dope. Uh, this guy's been doping, and I don't know what he's doing. But, uh, overall, I would give, I would give like, you see here his eyes and it's like, I don't know, there's yeah, some dark circles or what. And as usual, as you see for the Play Arts guy, the pelvis area is uh, loose. And this is, I think this is like the signature move. All the figures are the same. The pelvis area, my Iron Man and I think the other figures, it's also Aww. the same. Which doesn't affect at all, it's actually quite good. You can give some dynamic forces with this. The Thor punching. Yeah, the articulation is amazing. As always, Play Art Sky has been an amazing designers and also the sculptors. They have done a very good job. Or I would say it's quite an amazing piece. Even though his face looks like dope. <laughs> but overall, I would suggest for this. I, I would I would give them score eight for all the cape and as you can see, the cape also articulates and. You know, it gives in a dynamic pose and the motion. It's um, quite stunning. I um, mean, overall, I like the figure, and I would really suggest you to grab one. Okay. All right, now comes the big boys, the hot toys. Yeah, um, I've been wanting this figure for quite a while. I grab hold of it today. Oh, of course, yeah. kindly subscribe to my friend uh, Lauren Eman. He's the one who. Help me out with everything and uh, well the Thor is here so let's have a look at it courtesy of yeah Rufa Tiano baby I love you 
And as you can see, the, the cover blocks off the, um, the Thor. This is, by the way, this is the Avengers from the Avengers set. The first introduction of the Avengers Thor, as you see. Sorry, I don't have that turntable, so... Which I is have, I that one. Which, which is going cheap, it's okay. We like it manual. We like it manual. Anyways, the boxing is quite good, I would say. Not unlike the Play Art Sky, but it is like just the plain print because actually they are just uh, um, making replicas, not replicas, but replicating the actual um, actors. So I guess that's just plain and simple now. Unlike the Play Art Sky, they are pretty much more in an animated um, way they take it and how they put it in the cover. The artwork is quite uh, impressive. So for this, it's just a plain simple cover, which I, I think I would just give like 5 on 10 for this one. And as you see, we just need to slide it and open. And here how it looks like Aww. inside. This is also a similar take to what the Play Art Sky has taken. Right, it's time to open it. Well, no attachments inside the box, as you can see. Um, Unlike the Play Art Sky, usually the Play Art Sky stands are attached to the, the back of the box inside. But in the Hot Toys, it's plain and simple. And let me give you the up close how it looks when you open it. It is just seem like. Uh, by the way, there's a very important thing before I take out the finger is some plastics. No, I'm just joking, not the plastics. <laughs> it's the instruction manuals. So this is for the Hot Toys, it's quite important since you should know this one to six uh, scale figures you have to put in a certain poses and in certain poses you cannot put it for a longer time since it, it tends to loosen up the joints of the figures. So you have to be really, really careful how you pose your figures because you're paying a lot of money for it. So. Alright, as to kick off, as for the Play Art Sky, I started with the Mjolnir and I will do the same with the Hot Toys. I would go with Mjolnir. And as you can see, this Mjolnir is quite uh, small, the size of the handle and also the width of the Mjolnir. But as I said, that was uh, Play Art Sky took it from much of a, like a, an animated version of it. This is from the movie version. So they, they are much into more detail about the movie version, how it was and what it was. And as you can see up close, by the way, it's quite heavy. Uh, it's, I think this is, this is metal. Uh, not I think, but this is actually metal. Uh, this, is, this is ABS and with uh, a little PVC on it, but this is metal. This is, you can feel it. And it's, it's quite heavy, even though it's smaller at size, but it's quite heavy for its uh, size. So this is the Mjolnir, as you can see, there's the designs on the side and at the center. It's, it's actually quite nice, it, it, it replicated exactly how it was in the movies, uh, in Avengers. Anyways, moving on to our next accessory, which is why I love this set. And here comes... Well, I don't know many of you, if you remember from the Avengers set, when Thor is taking back Loki, back to Asgard. So this is the device which they use to keep the Tesseract. As you can come in closer, you can see how the Tesseract is, is uh, kept inside this glass tube. I don't know what that glass tube is called, so I don't know, you can Google it yourself. So. Yeah. That's the glass tube that you can put the stool when you're going for medical. Right? Yeah, even uh, sometimes they give you for the urine test and all. They just, I think it's like two buckets of urine test. They just put it together and put some tesseract in it. Anyways, moving on. The details on this uh, tube is quite amazing. The, the coloring and shading part is quite beautiful, I would say. The depth which they went on sculpting the sides. And that is, it's really taken it on a different level. It's quite something. The detailing at the sides, with that authentic look from the movie, 
and also if you come closer you can see this small little detailing which goes in the silver I mean that is also quite something it's right around this silver lining small detailing with with a little cut and also this as you can see it is a acrylic plastic transparent translucent I don't know whether does it open or not, but I will try. I don't want to break it because I paid a lot for this. So you can try it yourself if you want. So yeah, this is quite something. This I love this accessory. This would look amazing. And now the big man is coming out. Ah. Oh yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present to you Thor Odinson from Hot Toys. Oh. This is quite a good size, I would say. Um, coming into the sculpt, as you can see, the the hair sculpt is amazing. The artwork and the the detailing in it is it's quite something. The facial features, as you can see, the beard, how it goes in the action movie, it's it's quite something. And um, yeah, I'm really, really happy uh, to say that thumbs up, hot toys for that. That that's something really awesome. Yeah, you don't just see such such sculpting and detailing on a figure. Um, the eyes, the nose, the the color combination of the skin. It's it's quite quite amazing. As you can see, this is his original. I would say, yeah, original and authentic armor, the classic way to put the Thor. Uh, it is nicely detailed and sculpted uh, with the linings of the material, as you can see. Elbow guard with his forearm protector. And uh, it, it is quite beautiful, I would say. You s look, just look at the cape. Um, quite nice I, I love this figure I absolutely love this figure as you can see you can even see his muscles right through the freaking armor you see his tricep here wow you see his delts you see the tricep wow you see the delts here wow look at the bicep coming up yeah and uh, I believe it's only one facial structure uh, one facial um, expression which has been given with the set we have a certain range of hand as you can see in here and with the stand and with the silicone gel packet <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah there you go oops uh, by the way uh, boys and girls do not eat that please that is not hygienic uh, you may even go to the hospital and finally, to just summarize it, I'll bring up the two big boys. It's overkill, man. Don't even compare them. Oh my God. Shit, sure, man. As you can see, let me just give you... Yo, big boy. Yo. So you are my animated version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is how they both look. So comparing with the sizes, just give me a moment. I'll just make a stand. Six months later. <laughs> so, players is not out already. Yeah, well, you can't even stand. You can't even stand. stand. So you see, the, this this guy is Aww. dope looking. But, I mean, that's the reason I was saying he's dope because he cannot stand. And as you can see, the stability of um, the hot toys. So what I'm going to do is, I will just take all of the stands from Hot Toys and try to make him at least stand for the comparison. He's like 1 to 6 scale and this is 7 scale. Approximate around 12 inches and maybe just a little more. This one is right about 10.5 inches or 10.4 something. So as you can see the size difference is quite like an inch or an inch and a half. Best. He looks dope. He is dope. I like his cape spreading out and this one 
it's just like straight but overall I would give marks to Hot Toys of course because the price is too much man <laughs> yeah I mean the price is high they take the price but they deliver the product the face sculpt and they really replicate how it's in the movie unlike I wouldn't really disregard Play Arts Play Arts has done an amazing job as you can see the, the armor the costume of the figure and you see it has taken a very significant um, approach to the movie it, it's same but it's just like different approach to it so I'm, I'm pretty happy with my play arts guy also but of course this battle is uh, for right here hot ties ladies and gentlemen so that's it i'll just wrap it up for now we'll be coming back to you soon by the way this has all been done with laura neeman <laughs> with laura neeman and my friend is my brother so don't forget to subscribe and uh, just follow him, he's a pretty cool guy. Oh. I think this one is gonna like uh, contradict my uh, my vlog from uh, last time. But still guys, I don't like half toys. <laughs>